good morning students today we are starting our new topic that is statistics and then in, in this video we will discuss about the introduction of statistics as we have already studied the statistics in the ninth class as well so basically we should know what the term statistics means basically statistics is the collection of the data and that can be represented graphically or in the form of various tables and what do you mean by the term data here data means collection of the information any information that can be collected stored in the form of data and data is of two types that is ungrouped data and second is grouped data and we have to find the certain results in the form of gun group data or the group group data and the results basically we can say that primarily the three main terms are mean mode and median in the class 10th mean mode and median in the class 10th in the earlier classes we have studied how to find mean mode and median of ungrouped data in the 10th standard we will discuss how to find the mean mode and median of the group data group data basically means in which you don't have the individual observation of the frequencies and you will have the cluster it means you will have the groups and in that groups you have to find the mean mode or the median so in the group data how you will find the mean you will find the mean that is denoted by x bar by the following methods and the first method is direct method that is x bar is equal to summation fi xi divided by summation of fi second is assumed mean method assumed mean method and the formula is x bar is equal to a plus summation fi di upon summation fi fi is the frequency xi is the class mark and di is any new variable the third method and the last method is step deviation method that is x bar is equal to x bar representing the mean x bar is equal to a plus h multiply summation fi ui divided by summation of fi a here is any assumed value that you will assume from the class mark and ui is another new variable h is the class size and basically class size is the you can say height or the class size is basically termed as the upper limit minus the lower limit of the class interval that is termed as the height or the class size now these are the three methods to find the mean of the grouped data that is direct method or zoomed in method and the step deviation method so we will discuss the questions regarding this for example we have the class interval given for example 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8 and 8 to 10 and the frequency is given 2, 3, 3 and 2. This is the frequency given and this is the class interval is given. Now the class interval is given like this. We have to find the class mark and the class mark is upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2. 4 plus 2 that is 6 divided by 2 that is 3. 6 plus 4 that is 10 divided by 2 5 similarly 7 similarly 9 so here fi is there and xi is there now what we have to do we have to choose a uh, assumed value we will suppose assumed value is 5 so here we have to find d of i that is xi minus a xi minus a so here 3 minus 5 that is minus 2 this is 0 this is 2 and this is 4 now u of i is another term u of i is the new variable that is basically means d of i divided by h d of i divided by h and what is d of i that is already we have found and h is the class size 4 minus 2 upper limit minus lower limit is basically the class size so h is 
2 in this case so minus 2 divided by 2 that is minus 1 0 1 and 2 so ui is there di is there xi is there we can easily find fi xi fi di and fi ui so we can easily find the fi xi fi di and fi ui and hence we can find the mean of the group data either by the direct method by assume mean method or the step deviation method so basically this is the introductory part of the statistics that is of the class 10th and if we have to find the mean of the group data and in the next video we will start with the question of the ncrt and in order to find the mean and we will do the mean by the direct all the three methods that is direct method assumed method and the step deviation method other two central tendencies are mode and median how to find the mode and the median of the group data so this is the introduction keep revising the introduction and these formulas should be learned by everyone and in the next video we will discuss about how to find the mean of the group data thank you